I wrecked that Yahoo, wrecked that Yahoo Shai. Tell all Yahoo about that Yahoo Shai, about that Yahoo Kakadach. Don't want to get all their pops on great mills, so we will. It's very titations, and I can put them the truth. Hot the four corners of the earth. To the fair and power of Yahoo about that Yahoo Shai, and I hope we'll let. And try to want to the truth, the spirit that I tune in to the spirit. And who the world is going to be called God, I claim Yahoo. And who the world is going to be called to the Christ, name Yahoo Shai. Where he really like that consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and those in line descendants go back to the chosen tribe of Israel. Due to the scattering among the nations of the four corners of the earth, this is my hearty call from the Great Millstone, Los Angeles camp. we back with another lesson, and I've been out of style, will be edifying to the fair and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Kakadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, I'm going to say Twala Yahweh, Twala Yahweh Shai, from the Spirit on me to do the lesson. All right, so this is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. All right, I ain't going to have to have no um, worry or no care for uh, our life and for our kids. All right, from the wild animal, the poisonous snake. All right, with the future prophecy, which is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. All right. Or, like you can literally have your kid like go walk in the forest by himself and he'll be okay. Alright? He ain't gonna have a, a scratch, he ain't gonna get bit, he ain't gonna be frightened, he ain't gonna be scared, none of that. Alright? Cause the spirit of the Lord is gonna put that spirit back into the animal. Alright? That comes to the Israelites, so called Native like American India. Alright? Animals gonna be, um, how can I say it? They're gonna fear the Israelite, all right? They're gonna know not to touch us and not to harm us, all right? But they'll be playful with us, all right? You'll be able to play with them and everything, all right? And not worry about getting bit or chased or anything like that, all right? So I'm gonna start off with, uh, <sighs> it's like it's equal thirty four, and um, at twenty five, and I will make with them a covenant of peace. All right, all right, because this is gonna be the second covenant. All right, that we're gonna actually be able to keep. All right, gonna longer be written. In us, all right, we, we're gonna be programmed to be uh, perfect, all right, not gonna be able to go off ever, ever again, okay? So, um, all right, yeah, this is Ezekiel 37 26. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them, it shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place them and multiply them. And will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. It's like it forevermore. Alright. So. Yeah, Jeremiah 31 and 31. Behold, the day come, saith the Lord, how about sound China? I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. Alright, the southern kingdom. And with the house of Judah, like is the northern kingdom. And with the house of Judah, the southern kingdom. Not according to the covenant I made with their father in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. Right? That's what I'm going to keep. Which my covenant did break, although I was a husband unto them. Say the Lord, your house by some side. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, say the Lord. And how about some how shy? I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their heart with their mind. It will be their power and they shall be my people. See? So, that's the further proof of point of back of what I was just saying. Alright, and we'll.
That's because this how it was in the, in the Garden of Eden. Or, yeah, I mean, in the old time. Leviticus 26 and 6, let's get the full context. I'll start at verse 1. You shall make you no know, idol nor graven image, neither wear, up, wear you up a standing image. Neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land to bow down unto it, for I am your, for I am the Lord, the house of your power. You shall keep my Sabbath and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord your Hobbit outside. If ye walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, then will I give you rain and do season. So I can jump down to verse 6. <laughs> and I will give peace in the land, and ye shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will wear evil beasts out of the land, neither shall the sword go through your land. See? So, along with upon the law of that commandment, the animal wasn't going to rise up against us. Alright? But now that we have. Um, so to the curses. Alright, now we are uh, subject to being attacked and killed by animals. Okay? But that could be done away with in the kingdom of heaven. Alright, if it would be made perfect, it's not going to go off on that law anymore. Alright? This is Job 5 and 22. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. All right, and that could be on this start before we get into the kingdom of heaven. All right, when all hell break loose, when it should hit the fan, the time of Jacob's trouble, no, no thing would be going on. All right, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beat of the earth. All right, and that could start, all right, with the man of the Lord, the elect. All right, that's going to start on this start before we get into the kingdom of heaven. All right, because that's this this Joel five twenty two is talking about before the kingdom of heaven. All right, that's right there. Neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Okay. All right, I told they at 2 and 18, and in that day will I make a covenant for them with the beast of the field, see, which means uh, a covenant, a lease, an agreement, and with the fowl of the heaven, and with the creeping things of the ground, see, so I ain't going to worry about no birds, I ain't going to worry about none of that, all right, no animal, no bird, none, nothing like that, all right, because that, uh, that agreement going to be made. All right, and I will break the bow of the and the sword of the battle out of the earth, and I will make them to lie down safely. All right, so that was the point. All right, so let's get back into the scriptures. Ezekiel 34 and uh, 25, and I will make with them a covenant of peace, and will call the evil beat the thief out of the land, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. All right, so you're not going to be... Scared of sleep in the wood or in the forest, all right? And you gotta worry about no bear or no tigers, left, none of that. And I would make them the places round about my hill a blessing, and I would cause the shower to come down in the season. There shall be shower a blessing, and the tree of the field shall yield her fruit, and the earth shall yield her increases, and they shall be safe in their land, and shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh shall shy. I have broken the band of their yoke, right, that captivity, and delivered them out of the hands of those that third themselves of them. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathens, all right, to the other nations. Neither shall the beast of the land devour them, all right? So they ain't going to worry about being attacked and killed by the uh, animals. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. See that?
Put an alpha there and go to like that at 11. <laughs> 11 and 6. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kids. See? So these are. <laughs> Predatory animal, uh, the prey versus the, uh, the predator. All right, they could be chilling amongst each other. All right, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, with the uh, a young goat, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatlings together. See? And a little child shall lead them. All right, with the young kid. All right. And the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the duckling child shall play on the hole of the ass with a poisonous snake, and the winged child shall put his hand on the cock right then. All right, with the winged child, the child that just got off the, the breath milk, all right, being breath fed. All right, which is the cock cockatrice? Then it's basically uh, point to the snake. All right, where they uh, dwell at. All right, the nest. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain. All right, with the government. All right, but the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord. How about outside at the water covered the sea? See, that's pretty much the point sorry, we made. We don't want to make this video too long, but these are prophecies, all right, in the Old Testament that haven't fulfilled yet, all right? I speak of, of uh, things that take place in the kingdom of heaven, all right? So it's still a prophecy in the Old Testament that have been fulfilled, all right? And we're prophecies, all right? So with that, they show